Greetings, I'm Tim of Goffberg, and welcome to the Worlds of Zenith. Today, I'll be your guide to the proper care, handling, and maintenance of your Zenith Heritage Revival Chronometro Tipo CP2. It's important to note that this is an automatic winding timepiece. Unlike its historical forebear, this limited edition can wind itself. Nevertheless, should it run down, you can manually wind this automatic timepiece by turning the crown clockwise in the first position flush to the case. Turn it 20 to 30 times until you see the advance of the constant seconds hand at 9 o'clock. At this point, you can buckle the watch on your wrist, and the automatic winding rotor of the El Primero caliber will continue to wind the watch in the course of natural kinetic action on the wrist. However, should you wish to wind the watch to the full proximate power reserve of 50 hours, simply continue turning the crown clockwise. You cannot accidentally overwind this automatic timepiece as the bridle style mainspring will slip and relieve any excess tension. Now, once the watch is fully wound, the timepiece is set by pulling the crown out to the second position, and in that second position, advance the hands exclusively in a clockwise direction by turning the crown in a counterclockwise direction, and then replace the crown when you're done. Now, the timepiece is a chronograph, and the chronograph sequence is rigid and immutable. Always start and stop with the pusher at 2 o'clock and reset with the pusher at 4. Now, what this does is it allows you to operate the chronograph without hazard of damage. So whenever you start it, also stop it before you reset it. Attempting to reset while the chronograph is running can severely damage the mechanism. Now it's also important to note that with respect to water, there are certain handling restrictions that are critical to remember. First, leather, as featured on this watch, is never water resistant. It is a porous natural material that degrades significantly in the presence of water or moisture, so don't submerge it, don't get it wet, don't even subject it to extreme humidity. For that, use a textile or rubber strap. And it's also important to note that this timepiece is only valid as a 100 meter water resistant timepiece when you observe disuse of the chronograph pushers and crown when the watch is either submerged or when it has water on it as using any of these functions while there is water on them will bypass the seals and introduce moisture to the interior of the watch which will cause catastrophic cosmetic and mechanical damage. Moreover, it's important to note that the crown, if it's ever pulled out, for setting, should always be replaced after setting to ensure water resistance as rated from the factory. Finally, it's important to note that water resistance as rated from the factory is not a static feature of the watch. As seals age and lubricants dry up, water resistance does ebb, so Zenith recommends annual water testing at an authorized dealer to ensure that the factory rated hermeticity of the watch is retained. Now the bezel of this timepiece is bi-directional in pilot style. It features a luminescent index and it can be turned in either direction. This is distinct from a dive bezel which turns only in one direction and can thus only shorten, not extend a dive. But a pilot style bezel, which is fitting to this tribute style timepiece, can be moved in either direction and aligned with the minute hand to create an impromptu 0 to 60 minute chronograph. So, by running the chronograph and aligning the index with the minute hand, you can time two concurrent events up to 60 minutes. It's also important to note that there are handling restrictions with the watch that pertain to shock and magnetism. Now, magnetism is more prevalent in daily life than you may expect. High-powered wiring looms in the home or office refrigerator doors, speakers, subwoofers, and sometimes closures for purses and wallets all contain powerful magnets. Naturally, magnetic resonance imaging equipment should be avoided at all costs. If you suspect that the metallic hairspring of the movement has become magnetized, take the watch to an authorized retailer of Zenith watches where specialized equipment is available to quickly and easily demagnetize your watch. Now, shock is a serious consideration for owners of fine mechanical timepieces, as traditional mechanical movements should never be exposed to target practice with firearms, to golf, to batting, mountain biking, equestrian activities, or severe motorcycle rides, as all of these can damage the movement. Avoid them while wearing the watch. Finally, it's important to note that with respect to service, Zenith recommends a complete overhaul of the El Primero caliber every three to five years exclusively with a factory boutique or authorized independent retailer of Zenith, as only these agencies have the trained personnel, specialized equipment, and original Zenith replacement parts to maintain the integrity of your watch as an instrument, but also as an investment. Moreover, only these agencies have the ability to endow the work performed and the parts provided with a Zenith one-year factory service warranty. Finally, 
Call, text, or email our experts on our website, govbergwatches.com, and they'll be happy to give you a full rundown on the proper care and handling of your Zenith watch.